This is just a crappy version of a full-size convection oven. It certainly isn't 10 in 1. No, it's just a shitty oven that is good for cooking potatoes, yams, biscuits, and shit like that, and not meat. If you're gonna buy one of these, there's some shit you're gonna wanna know ahead of time. This is the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Oven Review. Straight away you will notice this thing is enormous. Do you really want an appliance this big? Not even cheap. This thing was $300 delivered from Costco. The reason I purchased the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Oven, I'm cooking pizzas in this piece of shit and it heats the whole house up. So I gotta have air conditioners on just to cool the place off. So I wanted a smaller oven to cook pizzas in. The Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Oven sucks for cooking pizzas. They cook unevenly with the aggressiveness of the convection fan, the edges of the pizza burn to a crisp and the inside remained uncooked. Now I know some people are gonna say, well that's because you're using air fry and you should use a different function. Well, no shit. So what usually happens is, you'll notice the skin is getting super crispy, but the chicken meat will be barely cooked. And if you choose, every function basically does the same thing. Note the pitch of the fan. So it's air fry. Air roast. telling you on all the functions, even just on the regular oven function, this thing is not good for, I would never cook meat. I would never cook big pieces of meat like, like a goddamn chicken. The only thing this is good for is cooking small pieces of meat like chicken wings, sliced up vegetables like yam fries, cookies, biscuits, shit like that. Which begs the question, why the f does it need to be this big then? This is so unnecessary. There is a model that's always sold out at Walmart that is a quarter of the size that comes with a tray like this and a pan like this. And that's all you need. The only people who should be looking at a Ninja Foodie Pro XL air oven if you don't even have an oven. This is just a crappy version of a full-size convection oven. It's noisy as shit. It takes up all your counter space. I think this is how Ninja suckers a lot of people. This, there's no way that chicken's cooking like this. This was pre-cooked in a different oven, obviously. These would cook there in about 20 minutes, based on my experience. But this son of a bitch, hours. There's no way. You need two different settings to cook these two things. They're, they're, you cannot cook these two together in the same button configuration setting. In no instance would this be possible. This is a misleading representation of what this thing can do. Faster, crispier, juicier results. Well, faster indeed. This thing will cook chicken wings in 15 or 20 minutes. Nice and crispy, delicious. So we'll give them that. I don't know about juicier. There's no juicier than cooking them in a regular oven. 10 times convection power. Well, I don't know what that's based on. 75% less fat. I suppose, yes, if you don't use any fat or oil or grease to cook your fries in, they will probably have 75% less fat, but they're not gonna taste as good. Yes, they're gonna be crispy, but obviously deep frying your goddamn fries is completely different than air frying them. So right there, fuck off. Evenly roast all sides of chicken, beef, and more without the need to rotate the pan. Good luck, that's all I have to say. Good luck roasting a big chicken or a big roast in the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Oven. It's not happening. So let's talk about some of the negatives. The first thing, you have to run this thing hours to get the smell out. It says right in the instruction manual, before first use, wash everything, and they recommend placing all accessories inside the oven and running it on air roast at 450 for 20 minutes without adding food to remove any residues. I assure you, they were not downplaying the existence of residues and these residues are the number one reason why i recommend 
not buying the Ninja Foodi Pro XL air fry oven. I ran this thing for two hours instead of the recommended 20 minutes after washing everything, wiping everything, and it smelled like I was inside a smelting factory. It was disgusting. Even after running this thing for two hours on 450, the first pizza I cooked in this thing, you could taste it in the cheese. It tasted like licking a greasy old engine block or something like that. It was disgusting. And if you own one of these, you know what I'm talking about. Must just be crazy oil and grease from the factory. Uh, the second negative, this thing is goddamn loud. So this is what it sounds like on air fry. It's ridiculously loud. If you have guests over and you're trying to cook some shit in the kitchen and have a conversation, it's like trying to talk over an airplane, a really shitty car with no muffler. It's bad. Under no circumstances. Most Ninja products are shitty. I think this model for most people is way overkill, way too oversized. There you have it. The only people who should even consider purchasing the Ninja Foodi Pro Air XL oven are people who are ovenless. Otherwise, I think you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna have this enormous, heavy, gigantic appliance taking up 30% of your goddamn cupboard space. And for what? So you can air fry yam fries once in a while. It's ridiculous. So I look forward to reviewing the smaller version of this and letting you know if it's any better.